my name is Peter Yong and I'm one of the directors here at Yong's Nursery in South Australia. We are a 1.4 hectares undercover nursery, We're growing advanced pot of colour, orchids and bulbs in a pot, which we sell to uh, the local market in South Australia and some of the more specialised products interstate. Dad and I, we have a background in, uh, the, in the horticultural industry in the Netherlands. Both of us did our study there and we were looking for a way to find a, a future in the nursery industry for myself, possibly in, in Dad's nursery. Um, that was going to get tough because competition in Europe is quite fierce. So we were looking for opportunities and when Dad decided to go on a holiday to South Australia, he came back and saw opportunities here and we decided to pursue those where we, uh, we saw different products in the European market that were missing here still. And that's what we're trying to do, bring those in. We started our nursery off in a way that we could alter it if we needed to. We set it up with half, uh, one third on the cover, one third on the shade house, one third outside area. Part of the outside area is now covered with shade house. Uh, inside area we've installed rolling benches we've installed cooling, we've installed better heating systems, all that because we now know what we want to focus on, so we optimise the climate for that. Our water recapture system allows us to get up to 80% of our water returned that we can use again. That's not just 80% water, that's also 80% of the fertilisers in the water. Our water recapture process is quite cool, that's one of the things we did when we originally started is that each bay is graded towards the middle of that bay. There's a channel running through that. Um, we put plastic on top of that, egg drain in. Then we put gravel on top, that's laser leveled so it's 100% flat. Another layer of plastic and wheat mat. So we have got a nice smooth surface on top. All the water runs through, it's collected into the center, goes in the egg drain, the egg drain brings it to the end of a bay where it's collected into a big main pipe which runs into the sump. Sump pumps it into a big drain tank and from there we can use all the water again as we need it. Our bore can be restricted if we have got a couple of years of dry years. The allowance of water that we can take up wouldn't be sufficient to cover the area of nursery that we have but because we've also got the drainage water to rely upon it shouldn't be an issue. We do a lot of work on our recycling program. So all our cardboard is recycled, all our plastics are split up here and recycled. Uh, this by itself as well, not just better for the environment, but better for your wallet as well, because it does save a lot of money if you're able to recycle properly. It's important to do such things as NOYASA because if you stand still, you're going backwards. It makes sure that we stay on top of everything we need to stay on top of. So we get the independent auditor, do a round through the nursery here, just point out a couple of things that we may overlook because we're in it every day, you don't see everything anymore. Um, so we've got continuously progress and, and making sure that we stay the quality nursery that we want to be. Mm -hmm.